Alrighty, everybody. So I brought you all along. I am at Deer Lick, a uh, Deer Leak uh, State Park here in Douglasville, Georgia. I needed to get out and do a little walking. I don't walk. I can't really walk much because I have arthritis in my foot, but um, I can't let it. If I let it, if I sit, the doctor says it's just going to stiffen up. So I'm going to try and do a little walking. They have benches around the whole walking trail. So I walk, sit, walk, sit. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and they have a community center here, a baseball field. It's a cute little state park. And I, my daughter-in-law brought me here before. Um, when I first left, in 2021, when I bought my house out here, we came out here um, when we were trying to get situated. And she brought me to this little park. It had ducks and geese and everything. And I think I did put it on my channel you guys so those of you who want to go back you can go back and look at my previous vlogs and you will see the um vlog of me at this park in the past so i'm gonna head on over here see if the community center part is open because they, oh yeah it's open people coming out of it they be having all kind of activities and stuff you can sign up for so I'm going to see what they got going on up over in here. All right. And um, I guess I'll take you guys along. I'm going to try and hold my camera steady as I walk. And that's the pond over there where all the, the ducks and geese are. It's a cute little pond. Oh, they even have the little book library where you can grab a book. The little, it's called Little, little Free Library. Oh, no. Oh, you, you can go. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I didn't want to mess you up. Uh-uh. You ain't messing me up. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, I'm going to um, walk, try and walk a little bit. Sit a little bit, walk a little bit after I go in here and check out the inside got a little waterfall in the pond and you can see the little ducks over there sitting down and it's right here in Douglasville where I live I had no clue that this was that park that she brought me to two years ago when I visited small world you know god just he know where you want he wants you to be and there's nothing you can do to stop him and he shows you and we don't even know what's coming and here it is i'm here at this beautiful little park and i told her i enjoyed it so much and i like the fact that it was a small park not too big and all up there, see, that's the walking trail that I was able to walk the last time. I doubt if I can do it this time, but I'm going to show try. All right. Talk to you later. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I am sitting down. Um, I haven't started walking yet, but I'm getting ready to, to walk. And I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Welcome to Valida's World. I hope you enjoy this vlog today. I'm just out I'm trying to get a little exercise in. Um, as I just explained, I have arthritis in my right foot and I'm on a weight loss journey and I'm bringing you guys along with me, along with my everyday vlogging. This channel, if you're new to my channel, this channel originally started off as a 401 pound weight loss journey. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it, my highest weight was 439 pounds by the time uh, I got to Georgia I weighed in at 416 pounds my last medical visit one week ago I was down to 387 pounds and I'm trying uh, to have weight loss surgery I just set up me an appointment out here 
when I, I wanted to do it while I was still living in California. However, I never got down to the 385, which is what they wanted me to weigh for the surgery in California. Well, now I done got to Georgia and I done finally um, got down to 387 in a matter of um, six months. It's been six months. So I went from 416 to 387 in six months. I know that's slow, but I'm learning how to eat all over again and make better food choices, which has helped lead to the weight loss. I was going to the gym and I wasn't losing any weight. I was swimming. I probably lost about 11 or 12 pounds. Um, during the three, four months, I was going to the gym swimming. I started back going to the gym last week. I went um, swimming, but I decided I wanted to get out and do a little walking today. Um, since it's a beautiful day, as you can see, uh, it's very nice, nice little breeze. Got my little sweater on and I'm gonna um, do a little bit of a walk. Not much, but just something to get the bones a moving. And um, I hope you enjoy what I'm gonna be showing you. I'm gonna take you along and I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm just gonna videotape my little walk and hopefully the camera won't be too shaky. See you in a minute. I'm not gonna um, talk while I walk, guys, because I'll get a little winded and um, I don't wanna be panting. So I hope you enjoy the music that I'm gonna add to this video as I walk. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Guys, <laughs> crazy. I just pulled my dress out from under my, you know, being tucked in my little undies a little bit. Walked out. The lady looked at me, looked at me, and did not say, ma'am, your um, dress is caught up in your undies. You know, some people, some people, they rather look at let you go out looking crazy and she was a older woman at that literally looked me up and down in my face and did not tell me my dress was caught up in my underwear i know that's a little tmi as they call it too much information but i just wanted you to know that sometimes we just have very rude people in this world and it just makes no sense at all because if I see someone coming out and she knew I went in the ladies room because I asked as I walked in um, I said I wanted to use the ladies room and they told me it's to the left so that lets you know she knew it was on accident um, but you know that's just how it is you have some people that just don't care about others and would rather see you uh, make a fool of yourself but that's okay God let me know when that breeze hit <laughs> pull that dress down girl pull the dress down it's all caught up <sighs> so this is the little trail as you guys can see the yellow line um, my carpet tunnel is acting up in my right hand and that's what I use for my um, stick. Now, the last time I came here with my daughter-in-law, I was way, way bigger. I was like, like I said, I was like 439 pounds. I had to literally stop right away, right here and sit. I don't feel like I need to sit right now so I'm gonna keep on walking hopefully I can make it to the next bench oh they even got a little football field right there I just noticed that and they have these little workout stations where you can work out as you walk
You can hear all the ducks and geese. That's that's the um, kids park right there where they can go play and slide. No dogs allowed in that area. Now, I do remember it being a bench somewhere along this walking trail. I think that's it, way up on the top of the hill. Beautiful little creek. Oh, they even have a volleyball court, but the volleyball part, it's flooded. See, if I walk slow, um, I can walk further. But if I walk fast, then I can't go that far. But the slower I walk, the further I can walk. The ducks is all in the water. They're having a good old time. This hand, this carpet tunnel is killing me. I wish I had um, a carpet tunnel brace that I can wear doing. Well, I do have another brace. I'm going to have to try out my other brace because the one I sleep in at night, it has big beads and balls up in up in it that help relieve the pressure on my hand. And I have another carpet tunnel brace that may work for when I'm using my cane. Ooh. Do you guys, I think this is horse shit. Yeah, I'm stepping in horse shit. I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to say that bad word, but that's what it is. I just realized it. Oh, Lord. Please, Lord, get it off my foot. It was dried up, though. Thank God. Ooh. Ooh, my hand. That cane. I had to stop and relieve my hand, guys. It wasn't the walk thus far. It's that it's that right hand that the corporate tunnel done set up in. The reason I went on and retired, one of the reasons I had to go ahead on and retire early, because my body just you know, it was breaking down and I'm trying to get healthy while working and the two wasn't working. And it was just, I was just in too much pain. And there's the bench. So that's gonna be my first break. Yeah, I think I can make it. I made it up this hill. So, you see how far I've walked, you guys? From all the way around there on the other side of that building. Not bad for a person of my statute. I guess you can rent these spots out for parties because that's a table down there in that room. The door is open where you can have a birthday party or whatever. That's nice. Or celebrations. And some people houses back up to the park. And that's nice when you know 
nothing will ever be built behind you because it's a state park. But then again, that's dangerous too. Because you pray, don't know predators come and break in on you. Because they know at night the park is supposed to be closed. Okay, guys. I'm going to turn this camera off for a minute. And I'm going to sit here and rest. You guys get the gist of what the park looked like. Thank you for coming along with me. And I'm gonna walk, that's the trail right there. I'm gonna continue my walking on up the trail, up the hill and back around. And uh, then I'm gonna head on back over to the house. Or I might stop at Target. And, and I might take you along with me if I go to the store. So I'll be back a little bit. Okay, I made it to my second bench. Um, as you can see, it's a different background. That's over there is the parking lot across the uh, lake that where I parked my car. So it looked like I am at the halfway point and it did not take me no time to get here. Um, by me putting the camera down, I was able to change the hands that I use my cane with. So instead of me having the cane in my right hand, I was able to put it in my left hand because the carpet tunnel is so bad in this hand right here. It was just numbing really, really bad. And I couldn't um, really focus on walking due to the pain in, the, in my hand. So I'm just taking a quick break. And what I'm noticing is I'm not as winded as I normally be, which is a great thing. Thank you, Jesus. I am not as winded as I normally be. So they even have tennis courts here. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see. See that? So you walk up that little walkway right there and those are the tennis courts. And I came from that way. All right, so I'm gonna put this camera down and get back to walking. Okay guys, I'm almost around. Got about one fourth way to go. This is the entry to the park. And I parked at the beginning of the park in the parking lot. So it is right about around this corner, a little ways to go. No more seats since the last seat I spoke to you at. Um, now it's just straight, this last little bit of walking. I'm taking my time because this is going downhill now. <laughs> and that's the baseball field over there. So. Oh, Jesus. And that's the pond. Remember, I was on the other side of the pond. I was sitting right outside of the building on a chair. That's when I first, that's when my walk first started as I came out the restroom over there in the, um, and I guess it's in the rec center and gym. It's a gymnasium in there as well. This is something very manageable for me. I've noticed so that's a good thing very manageable My foot was hurting me so bad in my sleep last night. I kept getting up every time I got up to go to the ladies' room. I could really feel it. 
It's feeling a lot better today. But I don't want to push it, knowing um, by me cooking yesterday, and I did a lot of sitting, and it still hurt. So, I don't want to um, flat have it inflamed any worse than it was yesterday. So, I'm going to make it around here this one time. Hopefully, I'll be able to do two times the next time. If not the next time, in a week. I'm not going to push it. So, maybe um, I'll be able to make it around here two times. next time I come out after about a week of, of walking around I should be able to do two laps my daughter-in-law when she had me out here she was walking about four or five times I think she said she was trying to get a mile in at least one or two miles she walked I don't know how um, what the mileage is. Um, probably I think it's like one fourth mile. The walk. Or one third. I don't know. I need to find out. I'll ask her because she knows exactly um, how large this walk is. I don't. All right, guys, my right hand is acting up again. I need to switch out, so I'm gonna let you go and I'll talk to you later. All right, everybody, great walk. I really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful day. Started getting a little hot at the end. Got in this car, took off my sweater, and I'm gonna be heading to the house. I might take a ride down Chapel Hill Road. A gentleman asked me on my channel um, who's trying to move to Douglasville um, if I can do Chapel Hill Road and I told him I would, but things kind of spiraled out of control. Sorry, sir, I have not been able to get to Chapel Hill Road. I'm gonna try. Let me see if I can get over there today because at the last minute, um, we booked a cruise as you, if you watch my other videos, to Cozumel, Mexico, out of Miami. So um, I did something totally different than what unexpected, and I really enjoyed it myself. I needed, I, I really needed that break um, from all the stress of the move, the wait, and um, getting my home in order and everything. You all know how it is. Life catches up with you, and sometimes you have to unplug and just relax. Even though I filmed everything, it was still very relaxing, not having to worry about the home front and everything. So with that being said, um, my, my, um, I have, you know, the camera holder for the camera in the window and it, it will not stick for some reason. It's like the suction, it falls a lot. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because of that reason right there i may need to get a new uh camera holder but i every time i buy one the suction goes away and it don't last very long so i'm tired of buying these things spending all this money and it's not working so if anyone has any suggestions on how to keep your camera holders and your cell phone holders in the window without them um losing grip let me know all right Thanks for watching. And if this is your first time checking into the Leaders World, please hit that subscribe button, share my videos, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube can continue to share my uh, vlogs with others. And if you're inquiring about disability, uh, federal disability, cause you're unable to work for at least a year or more, or uh, survivor benefits cause your spouse died and you have minor children or you're a certain age, I am a retired from Social Security Administration, so please follow me on uh, All About Social Security. I'm going to put the link below to my All About Social Security channel. And if you have questions, just ask. And look at some of the videos and share those videos as well. 
Thank you for following the Leaders World. Bye for now.